Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to City Skylines. Uh, for those that have been with the channel since the very beginning, you'll remember this as being one of the first games I had on the channel. Uh, it was a game I actually really enjoyed. Uh, the traffic kind of drove me over to the edge. That's where the, the original Meteor Shower video came from. Yes, that was my own city. I just said I had enough, so I said, well, I had the Disasters DLC. It just came out, so I thought I'd go for it and nuke the city and... I had a lot of fun with that, but as I did, thought I'd give it another try again, uh, one of the games I actually really enjoyed back in the day was uh, SimCity. I was like all over SimCity 3000, I don't know how many hours I put into that game, but I actually enjoyed that and so I get into SimCity 4, but took a bit of a break for a while and this one came out and looked pretty interesting so I thought I'd get into it. Uh, for the, the actual gameplay, yes, uh, the Natural Disasters DLC is in, that's one of the Excuse me. One of the things I liked about City Sim, Sim City was the disasters, especially the the aliens. But we have this one here. Uh, for as far as mods go, I do have some mods installed. I have. Uh, we'll go back up to the very beginning here because not all of them are enabled. But I have the 25 area. I do have the 81, but I figure we'll not go with that because a I gotta get the city to that size first, and b. Uh, the frame rate when you have that many buildings is going to drop significantly. But anyways, 25 uh, areas, at, uh, tiles, I don't know which one I was using before. These mods are from the days of the, the meteor shower of 2017. Uh, but yeah, so 25 areas, uh, City Drive, this is a mod I just recently added. Uh, it basically allows you to plan a route and have a like a car basically drive the route. You could do the first person camera and do it like a City Drive. Uh, then we got road tools. This just makes different things. It shows like angles and better snapping options, being able to uh, shorter segments and things like that. First person camera allow you to walk through this, walk through this the city. Um, first person, yeah, basically as it says. Uh, a few others here: uh, brown sewage, not purple sewage. Uh, Ragnarok, more disaster control. So that's basically allowing. Uh, higher intensities of disa disasters and some other things are other mod options for the mod but I'm not going to mess with those just basically uh, I do have disasters on it's going to be set about 20% of what it normally is but we're going to leave them on just for the sake of it and this is one I tr actually tried to get into before it was rainfall and actually simulates rainfall and water uh, basically pooling off the roof, roofs of the buildings and going down the streets and actually creating, you know, flooding. So you have to install a storm drain system that hooks up to, I think, uh, the same sewage system that outputs back into the, the, the river, whatever we're going to dump it into. So this one is going to be interesting. I've never actually experienced too much of that. And then uh, random train trailers uh, just basically randomizes the trains. Uh, sun shafts. I don't know if that's actually going to be of use because I do have the day-night cycle turned off. If you guys would like to have the day-night day cycle turned on, we can do that. Yeah, I just have it off for recording purposes. Uh, yeah, I didn't know which one it was. And other than that, uh, restrictions on roads and stuff like that. Tree brush, which is always good. And that was basically it. So those are the mods. Uh, oh, yeah. And... Uh, I have a few buildings. I don't know how many I have here, but I have quite a few. I think I had uh, a Western European building style. There was, I think, a Japanese building style. And yes, there is like a whole bunch of different commercial buildings too. So this adds just basically flavor to the, the city building. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game. Uh, I have no idea what map I'm going to choose. Like there's some new ones that came with the Dis Disaster DLC. This one's got a lot of area. So I might go with that. It's a little better than the Blackwoods because you've got a lot of r rivers here. Uh, but I think... Foggy Hills doesn't look too bad. It does have some, some resources. Uh, and this one didn't have as much. Let's see what others we've got here. Uh, these are other DLCs I don't have them in. This one looks like a nice place to build, but not much area for building. And this is all islands. That'll be a fun one. Maybe we'll do that in the next uh, next season if we get that far. I'll go ahead with the Black Blackwoods. 
Oh, uh, gotta name the city first. All right, so what we're gonna name it is Brits. Let's see if we can remember how to spell this. Britska Crumbum Plummet. That's from a live stream. I I really apologize if I can't remember who suggested suggests that for a name, but I thank you. That came from Space Engineers, but basically B C P Britska Crumbum Plummet. So let's go ahead and start and I'll meet you in. I'll meet you when we get in there, I should say. And here we are. Welcome to Britska Crumbum Plummet. Now, here's a, a little trivia question for those of you that have been here since the beginning. Uh, does anybody know what the origin, the name of the, that city that got destroyed the, in the meteor shower was? If you do know, let me know in the comments below. I'm actually curious to see if, how long anybody's been around here for, because those videos are unlisted and you cannot look for them. You can try, but you won't find them. Anyways, uh, let us go ahead and start building a city. Uh, my biggest problem with building a city is I usually tend to overbuild. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's a random train manager. Yeah, the, all these other icons are like the first person camera. This is uh, traffic overlay, I imagine. That's the drive camera, yada, yada, yada. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start building some roads. Uh, unfortunately, uh, everything gets unlocked as you build. Uh, I want to try to get a connection like that. And... Probably just come, hmm. Because this, for me, usually tends to be where. Come on, why are you not snapping to that line? Oh, yeah, it's because of that. That radiant angle there. I'm just telling me, like, right angles and stuff. I might have to disable that. Anyway, uh, I have no idea like how I'm going to plan out the city. I'm just going to basically, I guess, do it organically. Let it flow the way it wants. So this is what the, that road built mod was. It shows like these actual segments. So it basically helps you line up for better grid placement stuff. At least I think that's the mod. Maybe it's part of the game now. I have no idea. But let's go ahead and do that. Now let's, we got to get some... Uh, we got water and power. So our water's over here. Let's uh, get our intake and our output. Uh, the intake, of course, always upstream. So we'll just go ahead and place one of those there. And then we'll drop one of these all the way down here. At least it won't be purple, that's for sure. Uh, we will have to get some wind uh, power. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Don't really have much area, so we'll just drop it down over here by the the water pump, just because it's going to be noisy over there, and we'll keep the noise over here. So that's automatically got power. We gotta go down to the city, or what will be a city, and we gotta go here. And that's the one I usually forget about is getting these things all hooked up. Now, usually I end up spamming my uh, power lines through the the zoned areas but you don't really need to do that as long as it connects to something as soon as something builds sorry as soon as you, something builds it'll actually get power and then it'll spread the power to the other buildings that build next to it so you really only need one spot to it and then water simple go like this and I'm not going to be too worried about drainage at the moment because uh, I'm sure we still got to unlock all that and just do it like this. I'm sure somebody's done a, done a mod for pipes, but I'm not too worried about that. Because pipes are cheap. Alright. So now we go ahead and add some zones. Let's get some residential in. And we'll just put it on the box tool. Because I hate that paint bucket. Alright. And we'll let them flow in. Throw a little bit of commercial down here. Just because. Because they're going to want it. And then we've got to start planning for industrial. They're going to want jobs. So I think, I'm not sure how much the pollution spreads from industrial, so maybe we will come off this way here. Uh, keeping an eye on my funds too, because I'm not making any money until anybody actually shows up. And we'll take it out to here. Like so, and let's actually just do it like this. There. Get three little arms here, make this industrial. And get to get power and water to these guys as well. So water. 
a good thing the pipes are underground because they're usually a mess when I build my cities. Ha <laughs> ha. And we'll do this too, just because. Not that it has to connect or anything. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Sometimes it doesn't quite update. Oh, I thought I saw. I thought someone had a problem there. All right, we need more residential. That is some eerie music. Now, hopefully, we don't have a disaster. <laughs> that would be like the worst. It's starting a brand new city. Turn the just as the, the music starts. Start a brand new city, and just as you start developing and building, it all goes to hell, right? Anyway, so the demands are going up. Good. I uh, gotta take care of the pipes on this end here. Do that. I th I'm not sure, but I think you actually do pay taxes on the pipes. So I'm gonna try to be smart about that. Uh, do these guys have power? No, they don't. I'll just give you that. And right away they start popping in. Love it. All right, we need some more commercial. Let's get some more zones down. Uh, got some commercial there. They do have water. Maybe, maybe we'll put some commercial here. Not that. Yeah, there. And we let her fly. Speed it up a little bit. Let everything flourish. Let it go a little bit. Let's check our water usage. Water usage is good. Power grid is stable for now. Oh, and I hit the wrong button. Okay, and I have absolutely no idea what the chirping's about. I don't really care, to be honest. It's all junk anyways. It's all nonsense. I was going to actually add that. That, uh... Twitter remover, or chirper remover, I'm sorry. All right, how are we doing here? Keep an eye on everything. Okay, we could use a little bit more residential. That's fine, because we have residential right here. Actually, no, we don't. Now we do. And I'm sorry, but we're going to actually take this road and... Oh. I was trying to rotate the camera, and it wasn't working on me. And we'll go to there, and we'll leave that there for now. Add a few more roads, because we are going to be developing pretty quick here. Ah, that went too far. Oh well. Alright, uh, probably should try to get everything sort of localized. Or we just let it go the way, it, let it go organically, as I'm going to call it. In other words, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Just spam stuff everywhere, right? And there we are, a little hamlet. So we, we now have taxes, we can get loans. We got garbage we have to deal with, and a landfill site, and schools, and medical. Goody. More stuff people are going to want, but whether or not I have the money for it, I have no idea. But first thing we have to do is we got to get a landfill down. Uh, maybe let's, let's try to stick it over by, by the freeway somewhere because we're not going to be using this area very much I don't think because that's where our poop pipe is so we'll do that and there we go now do you need water no you don't need water you don't need pipe uh, power we are good all right, now let's see what we can do about medical, healthcare. Uh oh, power problems. Power problems. Yeah, that's what happens when the city develops too fast. Uh, I can't even really afford it anymore. I want to stay away from the coal power. Uh, I've seen what pollution can do to these games. Oh, there's a plane there. And I don't know why I was paused. Oh, wait, yeah, I paused it because of power. Which means... Oh, the water actually is really good. Alright. Perfect. So now we can start adding more zones. Bringing in more victims. I mean, uh, citizens. Yes. Citizens. That's what we'll call them. 
and there we go uh, I gotta check the pipe situation take that up here and right there should be good usually what I try to do is when I do my cities I try to every road I have a pipe which tends to be excessive and I know I should probably definitely try to space it out a little bit more uh, oh yeah, I should probably put a school down too. How much? Ten thousand. Ah, eh, we're making money. Sure. Let's see here. I think that's a perfect spot for it. We need our education, don't we? We need a little bit more industrial too. Maybe uh, start planning that now. Go from here. Yeah, that's actually a really good tool. Even if you look, it can actually tell you what angle you're on or what degree. So that comes in handy for for people who like to be well organized. People unlike me. Uh, that is the wrong button. Now we have water. Good. Get some zoning down. Just a couple more tiles like so. And. Still residential demand, wow. Well then maybe let's uh see I don't want to get too close to the, the industrial just because of noise and pollution and all that stuff. Give them a little bit more there. Oh I hate to do this. Oh what are we gonna destroy? Let's pause the game and have a good look at this. Down and out burger. Uh oh. Oh look, a pennies. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is actually why I added that commercial mod. You get these different commercial buildings. They're not, you know, like real worlds, but they're close enough. Look at that little kids' playground there. Some of the things you don't see when you're way up here like this. Uh, but yeah, we have to... I'm sorry, but we have to do this. I'm really sorry, but... Roads must go through. Are you connected? Yeah, you are. And... Yeah, we'll just do that. Sure. That'll reach. Let it go a little bit. Oh, I uh, unpause it again. And... I don't know why. Not enough money. Uh oh. I did it again. Spent too much money. Yeah. <laughs> I took out the power too. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah, we, so we're not getting any jobs yet. Uh, let me just check on the recording time here. All right, we're okay. All right, well, let's speed this up a little bit. Uh, definitely got to keep an eye on the power situation and the money situation. And so far, everything seems to be good. Uh, how are we doing for trash? Oh, I'm sure we're more than enough. Infill capacity is 8 million. Oh, 1% full. Okay. Yeah, we're in about nothing. And there we go. And now we're getting the industrial demand. Perfect. Which brings out the residential and the commercial. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to let things go a little bit. I am not taking out a loan, but as you can see, the money's flowing in pretty good. Kind of worries me, though. Because the power is already dwindling. <laughs> Ooh, and what was it? Six. Oh, thank God. We just passed it. I think we got a. Yeah, we get a little bit of a bonus. It doesn't tell you how much money you actually get here, though. But yeah, so now we got a new new area. We get districts, policies, sec a second loan. Uh, yeah. Uh, districts and. Surf services policies. Yeah, whatever those are. And then a whole bunch of other stuff. So, special. Uh, uh, industry specialties. Power usage. Oh, more policies. Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Now we got to worry about police and fire. Well, 
power is more important. How much are they? 6,000. I have to do it. I don't want to, but I have to. Because we're going to need it. We definitely gonna need the power. Even then, we're going to be changing pretty quick here. All right. Up we go. Let's speed her up. We got a few bucks. We're actually getting some good money. So let us start building more houses and start expanding. All right. Well, let's see what we can do here. I like that. It actually shows you when you're lined up with it. All right. Um, I'm sorry, people. I guess I should pause this first before I start destroying everything. Okay. Still haven't gotten up to roads yet. Yeah, because those are... Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Let's take the same spot. I guess it doesn't really matter right now. We're just this tiny little hamlet. Are we? I think we changed to something. I don't know. I'm not a hamlet anymore. And I am destroying a whole bunch of stuff I don't mean to, but... It's in the name of progress. Yeah, I never said I was going to be a good mayor. I'm the only one they got, so they don't have a choice. If they don't like it, they can move. And let's let things go so I can start making some money again. Or some taxes, we'll call it. Right? Sure, taxes. It all goes to the city. Eventually. Alright, we'll leave that. Watch the funds. Let's see, we're already getting that residential demand. Okay, so let's see here. Let's actually put the residential over here. Let's check the pipe situation. We're good. And we'll do that. Get them there and them there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I took out the school, did I? No. Nope. What did I take out? Wasn't there something there? Because it was dezoned. Hmm. Find out eventually. Okay, now we need commercial. I almost wanna. Yeah, let's try to put the commercial over here. No, we don't want that. Um, I'm gonna take this, move it over here. Because this is all connected, so I can actually take these out. I really do gotta figure out the hotkey for that. And that way, we can rezone all this. Let's get. Hmm. Do another commercial over here. Like that. That'll be more residential. I might as well start getting all this stuff all zoned out now. Do another residential here. And yeah, let's check our plumbing. Oh, uh, got people moving in already. I haven't even done the furnishings yet. Okay, that is good. And now uh, the power is dwindling already. As long as things stay under control, we should be good. Uh, won't have to worry, worry about the water for a while. And garbage is... Stable, for now. Alright, so now we got to start worrying about emergency services. Oh, we're a tiny town. 1,400 poor saps living in this place. Uh, sucks to be them. Anyway. Canals. Yeah, this is... Uh, I think this is part of the, the drainage stuff. Like the canals, it's for... Basically, like... Uh, rain fall off. Actually, there's tilt up there. Oh, it's for fairies. That's interesting. Cool. And a whole bunch of stuff we have no money for. There we go. Storm drains. 
So then that means we're going to start getting rain. Freshwater outlet. Uh, I think this is like a pumping station. And then the, this is uh, basically the inlet for the storm drain. So, yeah. So how much we need for a fire department? That. So, yeah. This is what I was looking at. There's actually small buildings and large buildings. Oh, okay. It just separates them. So 12,000 for that. And 12,000 for that. What's that? Miscellaneous. So. Well, I guess we'll have to do one or one of each. Uh, fire department really should be close to the industrial. Maybe we'll do since we're not using this area. Put it here and we'll add another road coming from here. Perfect. So the fire department can get down here. In fact, let's actually extend this road just over to like that. We'll have to make a few sacrifices. Okay, now please. I think the I think the industrial areas usually tend to have a higher crime rate too. All right, twelve thousand. Where would be a good place for this? Probably right next to the firehouse would be perfect. All right, let us go. I don't want advisor help. I know how to destroy a city on my own, thank you. All right, how are we doing? We need more commercial. Uh, people want to spend more money. Uh, of course, of course, of course. Why well, spend your money? Just give it to me. I'd be happy to do it for it. Spend it for you. Wouldn't, wouldn't we all right? And I was way off on that. And I'm sure I'm wasting money when I do that, but... Wait a minute, these snapping points are off. Oh, I messed up here. This one seems to be off. Yeah, maybe it's got something to do with the terrain. I have no idea. Let us keep going. Let's keep those taxes rolling in so I can keep spending money. Alright, now we gotta get some pipes in here. Do 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 like this and that. And then we could probably go to about here and there. Just to get a nice coverage. Close that off. And power again. Oh my god. And I spent money too fast. Wait for it, wait for it. We'll get there. And I gotta build another one. Come on, people. Give me those taxes. Just struggling. Need more commercial. Of course we do. Uh, okay, let's... Let's slow things down before things get out of hand here. Okay. Commercial. Come here. Thank you. Yeah, I got it. I got it. That commercial or residential. Okay. Now I speed things up and let people suffer for a minute so I can get some money and build another windmill. These ones I'd like to get. They're actually pretty good. You can build them out in the water and generate more power, I do believe. And 2,000 people. There we go. Now the power's under control. Pollution's getting out of hand. That's definite. Uh, we'll definitely have to get some trees in there. Let's actually slow things down. Let's go over here and see what we can do about the tree situation. How big are those? Those aren't too bad. Now, where was that brush? Uh, so it's supposed to have a tree brush as well. 
I have no idea. Unless I disable, turn it off. Yeah, no clue, I thought I did. See, I'm supposed to have these here for the trees, but I don't. That's fine. We can live with the pollution for now. Okay, water is still doing good. Power is not, but that's fine. We're going to be getting some money here soon. And we got to start expanding the industrial. Oh, wow. What happened there? What did you guys do? Ready to wear limited. Oh, fire there. I didn't even see that. Oh, well. Not my problem. Oh, wait. Technically, it is. But no, it's not my problem. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Can we do that? No, we can't. Let's pause here. And we could jigger our power lines here. Oh, space already occupied. Okay, I will do that. And... Yes, for the next episode, I will learn how to uh, hotkey that. I thought it was X, but it's not. All right. Roads. Go back to here. And... Let's go to... Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. Of course I did. Okay, we'll do that. And that. Back to the roads. Like so, oh. and like that. It's actually why I like that mod because it snaps like perfectly. At least I think that's a mod. Oh, what am I doing? Overspending like always. Uh, I need pipes. Can I afford pipe? Come on, a little more. There we go. There we go. Let's get that industrial in here. Let's get those jobs so people can move here and actually give me money. Take their taxes away from them. And reminds me, yes, the power's out of control again. Uh, it's great, isn't it? Anywho, let's speed this up. Let people move in. Bring all the hard-earned money to me. That's cool. I actually like going through some of the city sometimes and actually like looking at some of the different buildings that they have. And this is why I added all those extra mod pack or asset packs. And judging by the complaints of people, we need another windmill. But we're going to be getting to these pretty quick here. Uh, output 0 to 20, and these are doing 0 to 8. So we get these, we put them right on the water. It just saves so much. Now, does it tell me how much refund? 4,500, so we get 75% 70, back. So when we get these, we can sell all those and put them out into the, the water and let them go. And yeah, I think we're going to be ending it pretty soon here. We got a nice little start here. We struggling with power issues as always, but the people are happy. That's all that matters. And here we go, coming up to one more milestone. Let's let it happen. Let's actually check the fire and the police. I could definitely use enough for a fire hall over there. I've seen a few fires over there already, but wait for it. We're going to be hitting that big 2600 soon. And there we go. We're a boom town. All right. So now we get more areas to unlock. We don't we don't need those yet. We get trans uh, uh, transit, I think. Yeah, transit. More unique buildings we can get. To, or uh, industry specialization, which I think we'll look at in the next episode. Uh, new policies, new roads, more things to spend money on. But 
That's going to probably be the first one we get into right away, is this one. And so there we go. We are at Boomtown 2600, and I haven't blown the city up yet. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later. Both ways. Run, run.